Look, I, I get it. I understand the chances of it happening are less than slim. I know it's most likely not going to go down, but EDC, hear me out, man. If, if you got it, if you got anything left, anything left, because I know you like pulling these tricks and whatnot. Hey, if you want to, by all means, I ain't going to be mad. But anyway, anyway, we know it's probably not going to go down. But so team, keep it clean. DeAndre Hopkins. This dude got to be the, the most chill receiver that I've ever seen have an interview. He was on the I Am Athlete podcast, uh, and he was interviewed by Brandon Marshall and uh, Ashley Nicole Moss. Uh, and it was an interesting interview. And one thing I appreciated, like from Jump, he talked about protecting his energy. Because, uh, De uh, excuse me, not DeAndre Hopkins, Brandon Marshall and Ashley, they, they were asking him, like, hey, you, you don't really do many interviews. We don't really hear from you like that. And I was thinking, like, well, yeah, that's true. We don't really hear from DeAndre Hopkins that often. We hear about him. We hear about all these reports and whatnot, but we don't really hear from him directly too often. And he said that's because his, his mom told him a long time ago, like, go to where, I think he said, to where uh, you're needed, not wanted something like that um and i was thinking well hey we, we, us as ravens we could have needed you in the one but anyway um no I, I appreciated that because he talked about um just you you can't be everywhere uh and and not everywhere is really gonna appreciate your presence like that i was thinking oh that, that's very very true that was a really good point um so they they started it off really nice but of course you know Brandon Marshall and even Ashley, uh, they, they they were asking some good questions, but it got to uh, talking about what's what's happening with DeAndre Hopkins. They asked him about uh, him training in Arizona and whatnot. Um, they talked about like what's been happening as far as the, the trade rumors, how he feels about it. And I appreciate it because he acknowledged it. He said, hey, it's a business. It is a business. He didn't take it personally, anything like that. And he know he he named some teams that uh, had had he had confirmed called uh, the Cardinals about him. He named the Bills specifically and the Patriots specifically. Um, so he addressed that, and I appreciate it. But listening to the interview, to me, it seemed like he was very non-committal uh, to the Cardinals. Very, very non-committal to the Cardinals. There were some times when um, he did mention the Cardinals, mention some players on the team, and he like used a phrase like "we," but he was still very non-committal. He didn't really sound like he. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get back to the Cardinals. I'm gonna be with the Cardinals this year. I can't wait because we. If you remember, I take you back like maybe like a month and change ago to where uh, obviously all the rumors about DeAndre Hopkins being traded was going crazy, as y'all know. But then I think. It was right after the draft. It was either right before or right after the draft where there was uh, a video. He was like, who, who said I want to go somewhere? Who, who said I wanted to leave? So then it was like, oh, DeAndre kind of put everything to rest. But in this interview, I think he woke everything back up, in my opinion. So, again, watch it for yourself so you can see. But anyway, um, he was also asked about one Lamar Jackson. Uh, because if we all heard the reports, the rumors and all that, that Lamar Jackson asked for both him and Odell Beckham Jr. But he was asked how he felt about Lamar Jackson, how it would have been to play with Lamar Jackson. And let's just listen to what he had to say about Lamar Jackson. Well, listen, we also, your name also got thrown into the mix during Lamar and then that Baltimore saga again. And it was reported that you and Odell Beckham were two names that... Lamar threw out there and said, if you guys want to make me happy and you want me back, that would have made us happy too. I want. He got Odell. The Baltimore Ravens reportedly said, we can't afford to get you both. In a perfect world, if you okay. were able to make that situation work, would you? Would that be intriguing to you? Did you hear about Lamar's request? Uh, I love Lamar Jackson. I do too. Lamar Jackson is one of my favorite athletes. Mine too. Since I've been watching sports, I'm a, I'm Mine a sports as well. fan. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I was watching Lamar when he played Clemson, my alumni, and I was like, who is this kid? So I've been a fan of Lamar for a long time. Uh, so, you know, obviously he's one of the greats. And, you know, I would, I would be lying to sit here and say, you know, it wouldn't be an honor one day, uh, you know, if my career allows me to play that long, to play with a great guy and a great quarterback like Lamar. Or, you know, with Tom Brady, I was like, I want to play with a Tom Brady. I'm a receiver. You know, Marsh, you know how it is. As yes, receiver, right. You want to play. You want to play with some of the best quarterbacks, uh, you know, that's out there. And, and Lamar is obviously one of those. All right. Now, I, I really appreciated that, and I feel like DeAndre Hopkins, like he was being very careful 
with his words in this interview, because Brandon Marshall brought up a really good point, which happens all the time. Uh, he talked about later on in the interview how people can take a clip, they can take one little quick sound bite or something that he says or from the interview, and they can take it and they can run with it, and they may not have the full context, so you may not get the full meaning. So uh, DeAndre Hopkins was extremely careful with his words. He did not want to say the wrong thing, did not want to say anything that would offend anybody or that would sound too controversial, anything like that. Um, but when he was asked about Lamar Jackson, I felt like it was cool. He gave a nice answer that he would be honored to play with a quarterback like Lamar Jackson. And then he spoke about Lamar Jackson later on in the interview as well. But what I really appreciated about that part right there is that when he mentioned it being an honor if he would have been able to play with Lamar Jackson at some point in his career, he then threw in Tom Brady. And to me, what it seemed like to me is that like those are some guys, and I mean, I mean, he mentioned Tom Brady as somebody he would have wanted to play a uh, receiver for, but to mention Lamar Jackson and Tom Brady uh, in the same answer, in the same response. Not, I'm not saying Lamar Jackson is Tom Brady. He obviously, I mean, nobody's Tom Brady. Ain't nobody accomplished even like half of what Tom Brady done accomplished in the league. But and, and now he got what he he owned part of the Raiders now. I was like, man, he just he just can't get away from Jimmy Garoppolo, man. Leave him alone, Tom. Anyway, for DeAndre Hopkins to mention Lamar Jackson and Tom Brady uh, in his response, to me, I thought that was special. Maybe I'm taking too much from it. I don't know, but I I just I thought that would that was significant, uh, in my opinion. Now, um, at some other points of the interview, uh, he was also asked about his top. Five, top five, top five. Like, who, what quarterbacks would you want to be catching some passes from? Who, who, who would it be? Um, his first answer took him a little bit, but then he said Josh Allen. Josh Allen. So, okay, I, yeah, I get it. Then he said uh, Jalen Hurts. Uh, he brought up Patrick Mahomes and Brandon Marshall. Like, oh, yeah, well, of course. And then he was like, but this next guy, this next guy is very underrated. A lot of people sleeping on him and whatnot as a quarterback and as a passer. That's Lamar Jackson. So the thing is, like, it's one thing if you're asked directly about a player. Like, Ashley asked him earlier, hey, you heard all the stuff where Lamar said he wanted Odell Beckham Jr. and you, and da 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 that would have made him happy. So he was asked directly about Lamar Jackson then. So it's like, all right, he answered directly. He, his, his response was a response directly about Lamar Jackson. But in this question, he was just asked, hey, who are five quarterbacks that you would want to catch passes from? And... He named four other ones, so he, he didn't have to say Lamar Jackson. He didn't have to bring up Lamar Jackson's name at all, but he did. So that's when, for me, like with the Tom Brady thing, that made it real for me. But then with this, when him, with him doubling down on Lamar Jackson and throwing him in there again, he didn't have to. Wasn't asked directly about him. I was like, oh, okay, DeAndre. Hey, <laughs> EDC, like, look, man. If team keep it clean, if we come together, we all like, we, we do a little GoFundMe or something to try to fund DeAndre Hopkins in his contract or something. Maybe we could come up with a good $343 uh, and we can send that to EDC and them and, and try to make something happen. But so EDC, just let me know. Please do. Just in, just in case. But anyway, now something else that he was asked about. Um, what would he be looking for? If he were to go to a new team. So I'm like, man, he's answering these questions. And again, very non-committal to the Cardinals in this interview. Very non-committal. He brought up the, 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 the new GM and whatnot, the new regime that they have at the Cardinals. Um, and he talked about how um, like it's a business with a new regime, it's new coaches and whatnot. Um, but he said that what he would want would be stable management. And then he said, I haven't had that the, the last couple of years. Now, while that's true, and I appreciate the straightforwardness, again, that's a big like thing to say about your team. Non-committal to the Cardinals. That's what I took from this interview. So after this interview, I'm like, man, it, I don't think he's going to be there no more. He ain't like take no, well, I mean, he ain't really take no shots at the organization now because, again, they do have a new regime. So he was talking about the previous regime. But, again, he said he wanted stable management. I think in Baltimore, they're pretty, pretty stable, I would say. Uh, he want a QB who loves the game. Now, this part, too. I'm like, man, all right, DeAndre, you pushing it now, my friend. Because 
uh, when he said that he wanted a QB that loved the game, um, and he he talked about uh, what did he say? Oh, when he talked about Kyler Murray, because he he said, oh, well, right now, uh, my quarterback is he said I'm paraphrasing, but he was saying his quarterback is uh, Colt McCoy. And he said that he played with a lot of quarterbacks, played with a lot of subpar quarterbacks, too, so he can get it done with anybody. But he said that Kyler Murray does love the game. He said that Kyler Murray loves the game, and he loves it so much. He said Kyler Murray loves the game just as much as he does. He said that they, since with their love of the game, uh, they butted heads because of their love of the game. They, that's why he feels like they butted heads a couple of times or whatnot. But he said Kyler Murray's got that love, but he said right now Kyle, Kyler Murray is injured. So, like, basically saying that he's, that's not his quarterback right now. And it was just really weird because normally, even if a quarterback is injured, especially it's off season, like season ain't even start yet. It'd be one thing if we was in the middle of the season and he would say, oh, like, like Kyler Murray, that's not my quarterback because he is hurt, right? But this is the off season. So you would think like, he'd be like, oh yeah, when Kyler gets back, oh yeah, we're going to run it up. Oh yeah, when, when, when Kyler's back or, or Kyler, that's, that's my quarterback, Kyler Murray. That's cool. And he did give Kyler his, accol- his respect and whatnot, his accolades and all that good, good, good stuff and the praise and whatnot. But... I just thought it was just a little, a little strange when he did that. I was like, oh. Again, listen to the interview for yourself. Um, and then he talked about it. He also wants a, a team with a great defense because defense wins championships. Defenses help. <laughs> they certainly help. Um, but, yeah, you, you got to score points, too. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's a good, you need a good combination of both. Um, and he, but he did talk about, well, he felt like the Cardinals, they, they got a good defense right now. And Brandon Marshall was like, hold up, ain't, ain't Baker just, Buda Baker just asked for a trade? But the other half was like, hey, he, he's still on the roster as far as I know. And I said, oh, okay, DeAndre, I see you. But um, with those things, like, the things that DeAndre Hopkins named, like, you, you can find all those things with the Baltimore Ravens, eh? A st- stable management. They're, they're pretty stable. A QB who loves the game. I would say Lamar Jackson got a lot of love for the game. A great defense because defense wins championships. Hey. Like, you just, you like, you, know, you ain't got a bag to come to the Ravens, man. You ain't got a bag. I mean, it probably ain't gonna happen no more, but uh, not unless, because Brandon Marshall, he, he talked about this. He said when he was with the Jets, um, he said there was talks about him being traded, but he said he'd talk to management and whatnot and was like, hey, just release me. Just release me so I can do this on my own. I can find my next team and whatnot. Um, now, if that ha- happened with DeAndre Hopkins, then. I'm just, just putting it out there. Ravens could come up with their own contract for DeAndre Hopkins and throw him in. But anyway, I, I, it's probably not going to happen. It probably ain't going to happen, but still. But anyway, this was a fun interview to listen to. I appreciated it. I, I loved it. Um, and, oh, the other quarterback who DeAndre Hopkins named was uh, Justin Herbert. But this is how I can tell DeAndre Hopkins is so chill. Because this dude, he, he, he called, he said, uh, oh, the, the guy, you know, the quarterback for the, the San Diego, over there in San Diego for the Chargers. I said, Man, you, you like me? You slipping up and still call them San Diego? They done moved to Los Angeles, what, two, three years ago? I don't know how long it's been. But, yeah, it's t- it was tough getting rid of uh, San Diego Chargers, getting rid of saying that name, getting that out of your vocabulary. I'm like, DeAndre Hopkins, you in the NFL. You in the league. And still call them San Diego Chargers? Hey, I love it. I love it. Cause that that again that just showed how chill he was to me, but anyway, um, I'm excited to see where DeAndre Hopkins ends up going. Um, if I had to guess, uh, right, especially right now after the draft and everything, I really thought it was gonna be the Ravens, but that obviously they ain't looking like it's going down. Um, I don't think that he probably ends up on the Bills. I think he goes over to the Bills. Um, now would that be with Stephon Diggs staying or going? Uh, I think it would be with him staying. I think Bills would would find a way. So, but we'll see. We'll see. We won't know till we know. But I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate you all. And like DeAndre Hopkins is going to be soon. When that, well, in my opinion, I, what I think he'll be soon when it comes to being a member of the Arizona Cardinals. We out.